They say never judge a book by its cover, and the same goes for houses. While some homeowners go for flashy opulence and community living, others prefer the secluded, hidden, and private life in their fortress of solitude. Hidden in plain sight behind small, unassuming front doors, there are some homes that are simply out of this world. You could be forgiven for walking right past and not even noticing these amazing residences in perfect camouflage. Ready to take a look? Let's get it on! Invisible House if you're not a huge fan of uninvited guests, an invisible house is the perfect remedy for those nosy neighbors. Sitting on the border of California's Joshua Tree National Park lies the uniquely designed home of American psycho film producer Chris Hanley. Covered in mirrored glass, the house resembles a skyscraper on its side and at certain angles, it's almost invisible. In fact, if you're in just the right place, the house can disappear completely. Inside the 5,500 square foot home, floor to ceiling windows line the continuous entertainment space. All four bedrooms have unobstructed views of the breathtaking national park and sliding glass doors that open up to the outside. The house also features a 100-foot indoor swimming pool with intelligent lighting that syncs with the ambient light outside. All this minimalist class doesn't come cheap. Rental rates are charged upwards of $1,000 per hour for events and $5,000 per day for small groups. Quite an expensive way to look at your reflection. The Ultimate Man Cave Every guy dreams of building the ultimate man cave. Grant Johnson just took it to the next level. Working as a miner, Grant saved up enough money to buy 40 acres of undeveloped land near Boulder, Utah. Over the next 25 years, he lived on a trailer on the property without running water or electricity while he built his cave house by blasting holes in the side of a large bedrock with dynamite. The result? A 5,000 square foot man cave complete with all the creature comforts you could ever need. He wanted unobstructed views and no structural elements within the house, so all the openings are sealed with frameless glass panels. Living completely off-grid, Grant pumps water to his property from a nearby pond and generates electricity with a turbine. With his aim to be completely self-sufficient, this DIY hermit grows all his own food and raises livestock in the fields. He's a bit of a music nerd and has even built a jam room in the man cave so he and friends can rock out. Hidden Treehouse is it a treehouse or a floating invisible mirror cube? Well, it's both. The Tree Hotel in northern Sweden is an ambitious architectural spectacle that looks like it came straight out of a sci-fi movie. The 13 by 13 foot mirror glass cube sits suspended above the forest floor accessible only by robe bridge. The exterior is coated with a reflective infrared film that helps the home blend into its surroundings but remains visible to birds and other forest wildlife. The last thing you want is your treehouse to be pelted by confused birds all day. From the outside, it may look like the house is floor to ceiling windows, but step inside and you'll find a deceptively large living space with plywood walls and clever architecture. Two people can comfortably call the Tree Hotel home with a queen bed, a small bathroom, a living room, and a roof terrace all brilliantly constructed. Just like IKEA, you can buy this Swedish engineering marvel for yourself for around $277,000. Secret Cliff Face Headquarters if you've ever wanted to feel like a supervillain complete with a Dr. Evil volcano lair, this next house might be right up your alley. Cut into the cliff face in southeastern Utah, overlooking the picturesque Montezuma Canyon is this hidden three-bedroom, two-bathroom hideout. With over 2,100 square feet of living space, the house takes advantage of a tunnel system to collect rainwater and circulate fresh air throughout the house. It boasts all the modern amenities, including Wi-Fi, a detached two-car garage, and even Amazon delivery. The owners wanted to create a space where nature takes center stage and the master bedroom features the Red Canyon rocks as a stunning backdrop. With a mature orchard and vegetable garden on site, this cliff face hideout is perfect for your evil headquarters or self-sufficient off-grid bunker. Missile Silo when the apocalypse rolls around, you've got two choices. Burn up in an intense fireball with the rest of the peasants, or wait out the end of the world in pristine luxury. The converted Atlas missile silo buried 200 feet below the ground in rural Kansas is the billionaire doomsday prepper's paradise. The perfect combination of end of days protection and sophisticated comfort. The silo was originally built to withstand nukes 100 times more powerful than the one dropped on Nagasaki. Now rich benefactors can purchase apartments within the 15-story bunker from between 1.5 million dollars and 4.5 million dollars each. From the outside, it doesn't look like much. A barbed wire fence, some security cameras, and a single guard standing outside two eight-ton steel doors in the hillside. Behind those doors are 15 fully equipped floors of amenities, including medical facilities, hydroponic farms, supermarket, classrooms, cinemas, a bar, and even a gym with a sauna. And for those that like to watch the world burn, the bunker is fitted with screens so you can watch real-time feeds of the carnage above as you relax with a margarita. Secret Underground Lair 
Back in the 80s, we were a paranoid bunch. With the vague threat of nuclear war with the Soviet Union, a lot of rich Americans rushed out and built bomb shelters for them to just sit there gathering dust when the Cold War fizzled out. One of these unused shelters lay buried in a cave in the Ozarks in Arkansas for years, until recently getting an uplift into a secret underground lair. Known as Beckham Creek Cave, the converted shelter features massive cathedral ceilings, geothermal heating, and even a natural indoor waterfall. The 5,572 square foot interior is fitted out with the latest modern appliances and marble countertops and can sleep up to 16 guests at a hefty price tag of $1,600 a night. Off the grid. With real estate prices skyrocketing worldwide, the cost of a small piece of land to build your dream home is rising by the day. For a couple in British Columbia, the idea of land tax and being on grid was so ridiculous, they came up with their own ingenious solution. Built on 12 floating styrofoam platforms in the Cypress Bay is the impressively weird Freedom Cove. The massive complex features greenhouses, colorful living spaces, an art house, studio, and dance floors. 14 solar panels generate electricity, and the couples source fresh fish and water from a nearby fall. It's a truly off-grid green habitat at only accessible by boat or kayak from the mainland. Tourists, artists, and other hedonistic nature lovers flock to visit Freedom Cove to escape urban life and buy Wayne's handmade candles. Underground House in the harsh, scorching heat of Australia's outback, temperatures on the ground can soar up to a blistering 48 degrees Celsius. Only crazy people would want to live in that kind of heat, right? Well, it turns out that when there's the possibility of digging up opals worth millions of dollars, some people are happy to try and make it work. Cooper PD in outback southern Australia is known as the opal capital of the world, and its many minor residents have chosen to build homes underground both to escape the heat and be closer to work, I guess. A lot of the underground residences are connected, with community amenities including an underground bar, pool room, restaurant, shops, and even a full church carved into the rock 55 feet below ground. Underground, the temperature drops to a comfortable 23 degrees Celsius all year round. They have all the perks, electricity, running water, and Wi-Fi. The only challenge is natural sunlight. Silo Home they say your home is your castle, but for some people, their castle is a converted corn silo. Phoenix newlyweds Shauna Thibault and Christoph Kaiser bought a 366-square-foot corrugated steel wall grain silo built in 1955 and turned into their very own home. There's no rooms in this odd-shaped house. Instead, it's a two-story open-plan design with a loft bed upstairs and a kitchen and bathroom downstairs. The curved walls were an architectural challenge, so furniture, cabinetry, and the stairs all had to be custom-designed to curve. Even the front door is a sliding curved glass panel that creates a surprisingly solid seal, blocking out outside noise. But when the lights go out, it's time for this corny house to shine. The newlyweds installed subwoofers under the bed and can project movies onto the curved wall opposite the bed. Why pay more for curved screens when you can get the IMAX experience in your very own home? Plain Pad most people don't want to spend more time on a plane than absolutely necessary. It's the reason why some people are standing up trying to get off as soon as the plane lands. Then there's Bruce Campbell, who loves planes so much, he decided to make one his permanent home. The retired electrical engineer converted an old Boeing 727 fuselage into his very own private plane pad. The wings had to be removed for transport, and now the converted passenger jet sits on concrete pillars in the woods near Portland, Oregon. You enter the plane pad via the retractable shaft air stairs, and once inside, there's over 1,066 feet of living space, complete with a washing machine, sink, makeshift shower, and cyber office in the cockpit. He had to remove most of the original passenger seating, but has kept most of the interior preserved. Say what you want about Bruce's house, but it's anything but plain.